Yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy X dot E dot L dot O. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you. Yes, you. Thank you for coming back. But if you are new here, do me a favor and like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so that I let you know when I drop another video. Today, what I'm going to do is actually do some vocal recording, some hip hop vocal recording inside of Traction Waveform. That's right. So let's get into it. Let's see how we can actually record vocals inside of Traction. Let's go. All right, so here we are in Traction and Waveform. Uh, you have different options to kind of set up your uh, templates, but I'm gonna probably use my own template. Uh, you also need to make sure that you have your audio device set up correctly in here. Uh, I'm gonna leave my settings how they are. Usually it still will come out okay, which is a, a plus for um, Traction Waveform. Usually I have to change some things inside of other uh, DAWs that I use but uh, seems like traction does perfectly fine. So let's just start with a template and we're just gonna name this. Uh... All right, so here we are in uh, traction. So I'm just gonna try to pull over the sample itself. Give me one second here. All right, so I was able to pull over the sample and What's interesting about uh, traction waveform is that it'll go toward whatever the beats per minute is uh, if you don't change the settings for pulling it in. So this is what the sample is like now. It'll be sped up. So let's say you didn't want that <laughs> uh, on your sample. So you have a couple of ways to do it. You can go to your actions section over here, or you can actually pull it up down here by hitting this little arrow to pull it up and these pretty much are the same. So this matters which one you would rather have. You Would you rather have it at the bottom or would you rather have it on the side, right? Um, currently, I like to have a little bit more real estate down below and I usually like to have a side window open. So that I'll just leave the side window open over here, right? So in order to take off the, the, the stretching of the or the tempo change, you can hit right here where it says auto tempo and it has an option for auto pitch as well. But you wanna to to go to this one that says auto tempo if you want your track to be exactly how it should be, right? So I'm gonna click on that. And now the sample is currently unstretched. So if I play it, now it's playing at the correct speed and tempo that it should be, right? So now you're saying, how do you know what the tempo is? So I can hit on right here where it has the beeps per minute. And in this section here, it'll give me an option to click the tempo in. Uh, if I pull this up, it's the same thing here. Click here to tap tempo. So it's just a, another way to actually do the same exact thing. So we're going to uh, play it and kind of see if we can get the tempo. So it looks like the tempo is around like 90 beats per minute. So I'm just gonna change it to 90. And as you see here on this bar, it looks like this is where the bar actually starts. So it's pretty close. I'm pretty sure it is 90 beats per minute for this sample itself. So now that you have your sample timing down, now you can actually start adding tracks. So then you can make sure you can get everything going the correct way. So usually what happens when you're doing recording inside of a, a DAW, if you get it from like YouTube or uh, BeatStars or Airbit, usually they're super, super loud, right? So what you, what I usually like to do is take it down a couple of dBs just to make sure that you're able to hear everything still loud, but it's not actually peaking to like a mastering kind of standard. Cause right now, if I play this, You know what I'm saying? It's it's like right at the, the tip. So let's bring it down. So I'm gonna go and come down about uh, a negative eight. So somewhere around negative eight is usually where I like to be. Um, where I pull down the sample 
uh, or the actual track itself. And then I'll just add some tracks. So let's click on here and I'm going to add several tracks, right? So let's just do six tracks. Um, and the reason I do multiple tracks is because waveform doesn't really allow you to kind of move things around. Uh, let me show you as an example. So I'm going to control Z, right? So I'm going to take those away. So let's say I wanted to move this uh, track here and I wanted to move it down. There's not an option for me like to kind of just grab it and drag it down. It doesn't go to the next track. Usually when I like to record, I'll just record on one specific track and then I'll kind of just pull down the whatever I recorded to the next track down. Uh, that's kind of like how I like to record. You don't have to do that, but it's just something that I I'm used to. Uh, and a lot of other dogs, I can just pull down my vocals and have it on another track. In traction, you have to actually create a track in order to do that. All right. So I'm going to hit on this plus sign to add some tracks. And let's just add the six tracks on here. So in order to actually set the track up, um, tra track form makes this part of it really, really easy. It's usually defaulted to the input. Um, if you hit on like the record or the track itself, usually it'll automatically start to go toward the input one, right? So you have input one, input two. Um, I only have two import inputs because I'm using the FL Studio one so that you guys can hear me and you can also, I can also record inside of the DAW. All right, so uh, I have my mic actually set up on here now. I just uh, turned it on, adjust some of the levels. So now you should be able to hear me inside of the DAW. Um, so this is what it sounds like inside the DAW itself. Maybe a little lower or maybe a little higher. Um, I'll see on the final edit of this, how it actually turns out. But um, yeah, so this is how you can actually record inside of Traction Waveform. So let's just see how it comes out. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit on uh, record. Um, I'm actually gonna take off the, uh, All right, so I'm about to just start the recording. I'm just gonna hit R on my keyboard to start recording. Yeah. Let's go. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Now when I split splatter your chit chatter, I rip rappers, it don't matter. This fat bastard causes disasters My sound waves like water flooding the streets Now a cat from the hood will get a chance to eat I break down the barriers just to get in the mix Trying to hold the industry Lock it down like a pit with a fierce bite I stab you in the neck with a knife I'm like a psychopath killer when I get on the mic Alright, so that was the first recording itself So usually what I like to do is just pull the track down to the next track That is just something that I have inherently done uh, over the past, uh, this is just something that I do. Um, so now I have this track here and I can rename it. I can rename it here. All right. So now when I play it back, yeah. let's go. <laughs> Yeah. Now when I split splatter your chit chatter, I rip rappers, it don't matter. This fat bastard causes disasters. My sound waves like water flooding the streets. Now a cat from the hood will get a chance to eat. I break down the barriers just to get in the mix. Trying to hold the industry, lock it down like a pit with a fierce bite. I stab you in the neck with a knife. I'm like a psychopath killer when I get on the mic. All right. So there you have that actual recording inside there. I think that's pretty cool. So. Um, what we want to do now is I want to show you some comping on here. So I'm going to kind of, uh, make a section and then kind of, I want to just comp that area. So I'm going to grab the end point of the loop, right? And I'm going to grab the beginning of the loop. So let's say about there, right? 
So in this section here, I'm just gonna keep recording. And so that way it'll actually make uh, a comping kind of lane, right? So I'm gonna turn on my loop and the loop is enabled. Yeah. So now when I go, it's gonna just start over from the beginning, right? And let's record. Go. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now, now when, when I split splatter your chit chatter, I rip rappers, it don't matter. This fat bastard causes disasters. My sound waves like water flooding the streets. Now a cat from the hood will get a chance to eat. I break down the barriers just to get in the mix. I'm trying to hold the industry, lock it down like a pit with a fierce bite. I stab you in the neck with a knife. I'm like the psychopath killer when I get on the mic. Shit chatter, rappers, don't matter. This fat bastard, sound waves, flooding the streets. Now a cat from the hood gets a chance to eat. I break down the barriers just to get in the mix. Trying to hold the industry, lock it down like a pit with a fierce bite. I stab you in the neck with a knife. I'm like a psychopath killer when I get on the mic. Now when I split splatter your chit chatter, I rip rappers, it don't matter. This fat bastard causes disasters, my sound waves like water flooding the streets. Now a cat from the hood will get a chance to eat. I break down the barriers just to get in the mix, trying to hold the industry. Lock it down like a pit with a fierce bite. I stab you in the neck with a knife. I'm like the psychopath killer when I get on the mic. So now that I've actually recorded several uh, takes in here, so what I can do, there's like a little plus sign right over here in this bottom right hand corner of the actual clip. So if I click on this, it'll give me an option to see which one or which take I actually wanted to do, right? And I can do uh, show takes um, and I can unpack them as new tracks. So basically if I wanted to keep all of them, I can just unpack all of them but right now I'm just gonna do show takes. So now it's gonna show me all the takes that I actually did on here, right? So this one was kind of like a, a, a dub. So I'll probably keep that one and actually export it out. But uh, I can always go in here and take the parts that I really like. Um, so let's say I wanted to take um, this beginning, right? And then I'll take this part and it, it makes it really easy to kind of uh, split all this up if you wanted to. So let's say I just did that and then I take this part, right? And then let's go back down here and say I liked all that up to uh, up to there. And then I can just kind of, uh, you know, add whatever I want to. And let's go back down here. Right. And I'm going to finish it right here on this ending point. So now this track is going to play uh, exactly what I edited on here. So I'm going to I'm going to mute this one here. And it's going to play it. Now when I split splatter your chit chatter, I rip rappers, it don't matter. This fat bastard causes disasters, my sound waves like water flooding the streets. Now a cat from the hook gets a chance to eat. I break down the barriers just to get in the mix, trying to hold the industry. Knock it down like a pit with a fierce bite. And as you see, there's like a little thing here, so I can kind of stretch that out. Um... Now when I split splatter your chit chatter, I rip rappers, it don't matter. This fat bastard causes disasters, my sound waves like water flooding the streets. Now a cat from the hook gets a chance to eat. I break down the barriers just to get in the mix, trying to hold the industry. Lock it down like a pit with a fierce bite. I stab you in the neck with a knife. I'm like a psychopath killer when I get on the mic. Right, so that gives me the option to kind of do a comping lane itself. And then you can always hit back on the plus sign and you can do hide the takes. You can unpack to new tracks or you can flatten your current composition, basically meaning that everything will be flattened and actually processed. And you can even copy your comp to a clipboard so that you can actually pull it later on if you wanted to as well. So I'm just gonna unpack it, right? And I can keep this one if I wanted to by itself. 
and kind of just mute the other ones and just use that as an overdub for the one down here and I can unmute that one so now if I play it back yeah. Now when I split splatter your chit chatter I rip rappers it don't matter This fat bastard causes disasters My sound waves like water flooding the streets Now a cat from the hood gives a chance to eat I break down the barriers just to get in the mix So that makes it super super easy to kind of just record vocals inside this doll so my next video, I'm probably going to be going over how to actually do like auto tune on this DAW as well. So definitely stay tuned for that if you haven't learned how to do that already. So uh, with that being said, that's pretty much the end of this video. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this one. Uh, if you have like any questions or comments, please leave them below in the comment section of the video. And welcome to Traction Waveform 13. Uh, I think they have done a very good job with this DAW itself. Uh, has a lot of great features. Even the free version has a lot of great features that uh, a lot of other DAWs don't have currently as we speak. So with that being said, that's pretty much the end of this video. Like I said, I hope you guys really enjoyed this one. Make sure you are liking and subscribing to the channel. And once again, it's your boy x.e.l.o. Until next time, people. Peace. Talk, 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 rewind.